Hey Galaxy fans, welcome back to the channel, your favorite spot for discovering the coolest tips, tricks and hidden gems inside your Samsung Galaxy. So today we're diving into 7 awesome One UI 8 features, a mix of brand new upgrade and some legendary classics that just got even better. So whether you're here for smooth animations, smarter privacy or brand new connectivity, this one's packed with gems you don't want to miss. And hey, before we get started, massive thanks to everyone who's been watching and subscribing, you guys are amazing. So if you're new here, tap that like button, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss a Galaxy update. So let's begin. So feature number one is your app open animation tuning. So in One UI 8, Samsung refined how apps open and close when you're using gesture-based navigation. So the animation now feels more fluid and responsive with subtle bounce and depth effects that make transition look ultra premium. So here is an example, we'll go ahead and open up camera app. And as you can see, when the app opens up, it opens up really nice and gently. So I'll do it again. Now let me go ahead and change this around to open it really quick. As you can see, it's opened up really quick. So let me show you how you can fine tune this animation to make your app open up slowly or fast. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Home Up module, tap on this. Now go ahead and turn this feature on and then go ahead and tap on Gesture Settings, tap on this. Here you need to go ahead and find this option, App Open Animation Tuning. Go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on this. And here you can go ahead and choose Simple Tuning or Advanced Tuning. I've just gone ahead and stuck with Simple Tuning as this is really easy for me. So I can go ahead and make it open slowly or very fast or just medium. So let's go ahead and test one of these out here. So very slow. Now let's go ahead and switch this to fast. If you go into advanced tuning, you'll see that you can go ahead and configure this even more to your preference. However, I've just left it to simple tuning, which gives us a fast tuning of how the app opens on your Samsung Galaxy device. This isn't just eye candy, it's smoother animation, making your phone feel faster and more alive. So you'll notice less stutter when swiping between apps, making everyday views feel more like a flagship experience. Feature number two is your home screen wallpaper zoom in animation. So here is an example when I go ahead and open up camera app, you can see that your wallpaper does move, but you can go ahead and move this more. So when you open an app, your home screen wallpaper now zoomed in slightly. It basically gives like a cinematic depth effect that feels elegant and immersive. So let me show you how to tune this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down and find the Home Up module. Next, switch this on and then go ahead and tap on Gesture Settings. And where it says App Open Animation, turn this feature on, tap on this. And now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced tuning, then tap on detail settings. Scroll all the way down until you see wallpaper. So here, as you can see, you can go ahead and fine tune this so that when your app opens up, your wallpaper will basically scale to whatever size. You can go ahead and choose the duration as well. You can do a fast animation or a slow animation. You can go ahead and fine tune this as well more. So now when you go ahead and test this out, so we'll go ahead and open an app. You'll see that your wallpaper is having that animation of zooming in and zooming out. So this small detail adds a touch of realism, like diving into your phone's world. So it enhances One UI's visual flow and makes the app launches feel more natural and premium, especially on your AMO LED display. Feature number three is where you can have free monthly phone backup. So Samsung now offers free automatic phone backup every month, keeping your essential data safe in the cloud, no manual setup or subscription needed. You just need to go ahead and remember that every first of the month, you need to go ahead and perform this step and this will basically keep your phone backed up. So if you ever lose a phone, you can go ahead and buy a new phone and then you can go ahead and log into your Samsung account and then go ahead and restore all that data. So let me show you how to back it up. And then let me show you as well how to restore the data. So here we'll go ahead and first open up settings. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll find general management. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find reset. And now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find temporary cloud backup. So you can back up unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you've backed up. So we'll go ahead and tap on this. 
And now you need to make sure you're logged in. So I'm already logged into my Samsung Cloud account. Now you can go ahead and tap on backup data. This will now search for data to backup. So it'll backup all your data, like your photos, videos, contacts, even your settings and all the apps as well. So here, as you can see, it has selected 146 gigabyte of backup. So these are all my backups. Then you can go ahead and tap on backup. And then this will ask if you want to back up the secure folder. So yes, I want to do that as well. Then it'll start to back it up. And now this will start to back up your data. So you never lose your photos, contacts, or settings again. Even if you switch or reset your phone, restoring your entire setup is just one tap away. So it's like a peace of mind powered by Samsung. Of course, I've basically recommended 30 days. However, you can go ahead and do this every week. So as you can see, it only took a minute to do these steps. This backup can go ahead and run in the background while you're doing something else. As you can see, it's doing the background. However, you can go ahead and do this every weekend. Just go ahead and do this manual step and back up your phone. If you want to go ahead and restore the phone, you can go ahead and go to settings, go to general management, go to reset. From here, from here, find temporary cloud backup. And here you'll go ahead and find the option to restore your data. Feature number four is your lockdown mode. So one UI classic that makes a comeback is the lockdown mode, which disables all your biometrics unlocks like fingerprint or face and only allows pin entry. So this is perfect for when you're asleep and if someone, maybe your girlfriend uses your thumb to unlock your phone, you can go ahead and disable this. She will need your pin in order to unlock it. So let me show you how to turn on this feature. So to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. From here, find secure lock settings, enter in your pin number. From here, find this option here, show lockdown mode option. Make sure you turn this feature on. So this will display a power button option that turns off extend unlock, biometrics unlock, and even the notification on your lock screen. To enter into lockdown mode, go ahead and long press on your side button and the volume down button. You'll get this menu, tap on lockdown mode, and now lockdown mode has been enabled. So this is perfect for when you're asleep, traveling, or just want an extra layer of security. No one can unlock your phone with your face or fingerprint. Only you know the pin as this is all in your head and it's your digital safe mode. Feature number five is where you can hide recommended apps in the task switcher. So when you go ahead and open up your task switcher, you'll see these recommended apps. So these are recommended apps from Samsung and these are the most used apps which you have used in the past. So if you're tired of seeing suggested or recommended apps at the bottom of your recent app screen, in One UI 8, you can now turn them off completely. So let me show you how to do this. So to turn it off, you wanna go ahead and bring down your recent apps. Next, you wanna tap on the three dots at the top right and then tap on settings. Now here, you wanna go ahead and find this option here, show recommended apps. Go ahead and turn this feature off. Now go back. And now when you go ahead and look at your app switcher or your recent app screen, you'll see that all of these icons at the bottom has disappeared. So this is a cleaner, distraction-free multitasking view that shows only what you want to see. So it looks neater, feels faster, and respects your privacy and focus. Feature number six is your horizontal app drawer. So if you miss the classic horizontal scrolling app drawer, it's back. So when you sort apps alphabetically, you can switch the layout to a horizontal swipe view instead of vertical. So here in the app drawer, if you go ahead and tap on the three dots, then tap on sort, and tap in alphabetical order, you'll see that the app is basically scrolling up and down. So it's like a vertical view. However, when you go ahead and switch it to custom order, the app scrolling is horizontal. So a lot of people have complained in the past where they want their app drawer sorted by alphabetically. However, they want the horizontal scroll on this. So One UI 8 has the answer for this. And with the help of Good Lock app, and the home up module, they have enabled the option where you can make this scrolling horizontal. So let me show you how to do this. So first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, open up the home up module. Here, open up home screen, scroll down and find the app screen section, which is right here. And here you need to find the use horizontal scroll. So you can use horizontal scroll with alphabetical sort type. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now go back to your app drawer 
And you'll see that it's changed from a vertical scroll to a horizontal scroll. So just to prove that this is in alphabetical order, you'll see that it's alphabetical order. And now you can go ahead and swipe left and right on your app drawer. So this is perfect for one-handed use and the nostalgic Galaxy fans. It feels familiar, smooth, and gives your launcher that classic Samsung personality with a modern polish. Feature number seven is your Bluetooth AuraCast. So AuraCast is a feature of wireless audio sharing. So with One UI 8, your Galaxy device can broadcast audio via Bluetooth. So this lets multiple people connect and listen to the same sound source simultaneously. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you wanna go ahead and first open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find connections, then go ahead and find Bluetooth. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right and then tap on broadcast sound using AuraCast. So this will basically broadcast the sound from this phone so others can listen. However, that person needs to have a Bluetooth device. So in order to connect to this device, they need to know the broadcast name, the password, and you need to go ahead and turn on improved compatibility. So this will allow more devices such as a hearing aids to connect by reducing the audio quality. We'll tap on start broadcast. And now anyone can come along and scan that QR code and basically listen to what you're listening to. So this is ideal for sharing music, podcasts, and even watching a movie together without cords or splitters. So it's like social listening, the galaxy style. So this is great for gyms, parties, and group travels. And that's our list of seven One UI features that make your Samsung Galaxy smarter, smoother, and more secure than ever. So which one's your favorite? The buttery animation, lockdown mode, or the new AuraCast magic? Let me know in the comment section down below. If this video helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe and tap that bell icon so you're the first to catch my next One UI 8 deep dive videos. Huge thanks to everyone who's been watching, liking and subscribing. Your support means the world. My name is Simple Dad and I'll see you in the next one.